Yo, what's good? It's Surreal back here with Battle Rap Media. Yo, we got to talk Battle Rap community. A lot of stuff went down. A lot. And now we got Jack Boy and Bill Collector gone from Midnight Madness. They don't want no parts of it. You got Bill Collector tweeting stuff saying, you know what I'm saying? He's out. He wants no parts of the negativity. Yo, that's crazy. Now, <clears throat> Midnight Madness had the potential to be, if not one of the best leagues in battle rap. Period. The ideas, the concept, everything. Now, it's too much negative than positive now. And I don't know if they're willing to continue going. I know Twerk and A was supposed to battle. You know, I don't know if that going down or not. But regardless, Midnight Madness, yo, y'all niggas are like right through a thin nail, bro, right now. With everything going on. I'm going to give y'all 10 reasons why. Midnight Madness was set up to fail. Number one, Remy Ma was a judge. She judged on Truthful and bet. She did an inside bet. That right there is a red flag for me. That was the first strike for Midnight Madness for me. Okay? Second, number two, the judges are just too biased for me. Based on crews and who you, you know, chill with and stuff like that. Then it's like the battle rappers can't really choose who they want. Battle rappers, should I say, that attend are the ones that possibly might be the judges. Whether it's Calico, whether it's John John, whoever. And those are the people that's got to pick. I'm not saying that they're biased. I don't know. But I know certain people they're cool with, they're going to choose. All right. Number three, the way the money was handled. As in, okay, you get money, throw it on the ground. I get all that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, you know what I'm saying, the back scenes of any other payments. You know, certain battle rappers getting paid before they even step on the stage. And certain ones are not. Those are the no names that's trying to get a name. You know, it was a lot of fishy stuff going on in Midnight Madness. And that was another reason why I threw that on the list. Number four, bloggers. Yeah, I'm a blogger as well. But I'm not going to go bananas to where, you know, I'm going to destroy somebody's character like that unless they deserve it. i am be honest. You know, if you did it to yourself, then, you know, I have to talk about it. It is what it is. Because if I don't talk about it, you're going to still have like 10 other people talking about it. So it don't matter. It's going to get out there. It's just that the way that people are doing it, you know, there's ways of doing it respectfully, all right? Number five, no sponsors. You know, they didn't have no sponsors to where they can book matches left and right, you know, and everybody's guaranteed a certain amount of money, you know, um... We could do an event this day. This day. It's not guaranteed. Everything was, you know, off of maybe we can set up this date. Or basically, when URL has an event, then we can all link up right here and try to do it. So it's kind of like, all right, we're going to use URL to travel here with the whole team. And then the other team that's not here through URL, I'll pay for it. And then we can all gather up here and do an event. So make it a two-day event. One on URL and then the rest on Midnight Madness. Um, just wasn't going to work. You know what I'm saying? After a certain point, it's a lot of money to run a league. It's a lot of money. As you can see, Surf, you paid 800 didn't pay the whole 12 Just throwing it out there, all right? Number six, no one's defending the belt except for Snake Eyes. Now, these belts, a lot of them are not defending it. It's past the limit of, I guess, 60 to 90 days. Uh, I'm not hearing no title matches being booked right now. All I'm hearing is Twerk battling possibly A Ward allegedly. I mean, after a certain time, they should be defending these belts. So the belts basically lost value after Snake Eyes had three to almost four battles. He probably had four battles consistently. And the 
the fourth battle is when the title got defended. It should have happened the first time. Like, the minute he battled a battle rapper, didn't matter who it was, that title should have been on the line. You know what I'm saying? And if it wasn't, and y'all didn't do it that way, the next match after that should have been it. You know, so now the time is up. The days of Midnight Madness holding belts and certain people still got it. So, basically, the belts lost value. Alright? Number seven. Twitter spaces. Um, yo, you guys be on that damn thing heavy. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning, you know, I get it was the way to promote Midnight Madness. You guys had the ideas. You know, everybody was, you know, speaking to certain... Uh, people about ideas and stuff like that, but it was just too much negative coming out of Twitter spaces. It's like after a certain point, cut it off and go. Because when you give too much information, it becomes negative. And it's a cool thing to be cool with your fans and stuff like that. And, you know, get... Give them the idea or a certain, like, card that was going to drop. But you guys are giving your whole life story. It's just too much. Way too much. Number eight. Too many people were involved. Way too many. I think, personally, if it was just a certain three, which is Jack Boy, you know, Bill, and Sue Surf, they talked in the back scenes, not on Twitter spaces, and... Organized certain things to where when they did jump on Twitter spaces, they would have just dropped whatever card and kept it moving like that. It would have been all good. I don't even know where all those teams were, you know, from the beginning. There were certain teams. Now look at the percentage of how many people are still battle rapping on that league right now. Or even on a team, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was a huge, huge problem. You know, too many people. It should have been just three people talking, whatever, and that's it. Alright? Number nine. No battle rappers were promoting. Now, y'all would just drop cards. You guys would be on Twitter spaces for hours and hours and hours. But nobody was really promoting. In the beginning, yeah, a couple of pre-face-offs and stuff like that. Surf understood that. You know, with snake eyes and certain people were actually jumping on Twitter spaces and arguing and making it, you know, sell. That's cool. That's the path they should have stayed. But now it's like too many people want to battle but don't want to promote. You guys have no name. So how are battle rap, you know, fans going to understand who you are without promoting? So no promotion, no love. It's just what it is. Nobody knows nothing about you. All right. And the final, final one. Sue Surf. Number 10. Sue Surf, his name, his last name alone is enough to explain why Midnight Madness was, you know, made to fail, bro. It, it had potential, but it was made to fail. His last name is Cocky. So, you know, he talks... A lot, you know, and then it's like when he gets upset and says, you know what, SMD, SMD, to get you, you people ain't nothing without me. It's like, yo, ARP and Smackin' them don't do that to where they bash somebody to the point where they just be like, you know what, if I see this guy on site, it's on, you know, it should be handled professionally. It shouldn't be to the point where you're telling somebody words like that, because if you say that in the streets, it's going to be a problem. You know what I'm saying? Certain people ain't going to take that. They don't care how many people, they don't care if they die over it. It is what it is. I mean, everybody bleeds the same. You know what I'm saying? You can get it. You know? It's just what it is. But some people are built like that and some are not. And to be talking that way to certain people and you're a league owner is a terrible look. Like, you ain't got, like, a person like ARP that's talking trash to, you know, his people. You know, if you got views, you got views. If you don't. You don't see him going bananas where he's like, yo, um, you know, you're trash. You know, you're not without me. You know, I made you. Stuff like that is an ugly look, man, as an owner. It's, it's terrible because what goes around comes around, bro. It is what it is, man. You ain't got Smack saying that. Smack might say, yo, if you're choking and messing up like that, I ain't going to book you. You ain't going to, you know, you ain't going to get no call.
but he gonna keep it trucking, you know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna be bashing somebody's brand or name, you know, to the point where, you know, he might need security or hire security, you know, on blood and gangs, and it just, it's not worth it, man. If you're gonna conduct business, just do it professionally, that's all. But, those are my 10 reasons why Midnight Madness was, you know, pretty much made to fail, bro, honestly. Um, this is surreal, and if y'all can, please like, share, and subscribe, and y'all be safe out here, because this world is getting dangerous, and y'all all be blessed, I'm out, this is surreal.